I think some people really dislike being told what to do. Like, I think some people rather do something wrong other than be instructed on how to do something the right way. What is that? I believe some people rather redo something other than being told how to do it right. Myself, most times, I want to do something only once. Why work really hard on something and have to do it twice, three times, four times, or more? Why not listen to a person that know better than you and do it right the first time or maybe the second? What is that? Some type of rebellion? Like some type of self-ordained ignorance or pride or something like that? What is that? What is what is wrong with being told what to do? What like, what is that? If you are going the wrong way, why not be told what to do, right? Anyways, let me get to my point. I had a dream, vision, supernatural experience whatever you call it. I dreamed, I saw a black woman, maybe in a hut. I don't think she was wearing makeup. I believe her hair was combed back. I think she was on her knees with her eyes closed. I believe her hands were clasped, whatever that word is. And I think her head was bowed. I don't think she was praying to Jesus. <laughs> I think she is a witch. Okay, I believe God was the one who showed me that dream. If this is so, why do you believe God showed me that dream? For fun? Like, hey, Kevin, let me show you this video you know, as if you are watching Amazon Prime or Netflix or Funimation or something. No, I believe I was shown that vision as like a warning maybe, or like a precaution. What word am I looking for? maybe to alert me. Perhaps that woman was trying to curse me. Perhaps that woman may have been doing some bad things and maybe I was shown that vision to pray against it, which I did. I prayed against that woman, not to harm her, but if she was casting spells or doing evil, for it to be canceled, for it to be thrown away, for it to be stopped, for that woman, I believe I prayed about this too, for that woman to accept Jesus Christ in her life. Because I don't think that woman was praying to Jesus. And if I remember correctly, I believe she had candles lit in that hut. 
I don't remember what she had on. Or do I? Maybe not. Okay. How many of us receive dreams of impending danger? How many of us? And how many of us sit idly by and receive those dreams? Like not do anything about it. Like not fast, not pray about it. Maybe not even tell people about it. Like how many of us do that? Look now. There was another dream I had. Maybe this was far back as well. I believe the demon was really tall. Maybe I would assume 12 feet, 14 feet. I don't know. And I glanced, I believe I glanced at that demon's face. And I believe that demon had like a beast, animal beast, like hideous face. And I believe it was full of anger. I believe at me. That demon had really long claws, nails, claws, real long. I believe on both hands. And if I remember correctly, that demon had, was it his right hand or left? Maybe his right. Had his claws on one of his hands, maybe with these fingers, maybe all five, pierced in my body. Now, I don't believe I felt the full extent of the pain, but I felt some. And it was a really weird sensation, too. Uncomfortable, but really strange feeling. I think that demon was kind of happy about it, too, but... I believe that demon was mostly angry at me. Okay. If you had that dream, what would you do? Would you say weird and not pray, not fast, not do anything about it? I prayed about it maybe more than one time. And if I remember correctly, that demon was really, I did not see the entirety, I guess, but I believe that demon was really, I am not trying to compliment a demon, but I believe that demon was really nicely dressed, like as if it was like, not a king, but something of high rank or something at like how it was dressed, like it was not dressed in rags. Have you seen, what is a good comparison? I like to watch, or I did like to watch um, things about the medieval times or stuff about like um, the, what is it called? The hierarchy of the, aristocrats or something like something like that maybe that not maybe that is not a good comparison like i don't know <laughs> anyways i prayed about that i don't believe dreams are only dreams I believe all dreams or most dreams have significance. I'm serious. So if you have been dreaming 
about some really evil or really bad or demonic stuff, excuse me, pray against it, right? Don't let it just go through your mind and you forget about it and whatever else. I believe, I think much of the time, dreams come to us for us to do something about it, like Daniel. And I may not say this correctly. I believe something God showed him, I think he went on a fast about it to get the interpretation, right? I may not have that correct, but let me stop here though. I hope you all understand what I am trying to say. Let me stop here. God bless you.